Hello, I'm Chip Conley, and I'm excited because my book, Learning to Love Midlife, is out. Not necessarily on the bookshelves yet, but it's the early uh, copies are being sent out to me and a few others to read it. Um, and it'll be out on the bookshelves on January 16th. So I'm going to spend this video ta uh, talking about uh, the subtitle of the book, The 12 Reasons Why Life Gets Better with Age. I'm going to go over each one of them very briefly and say a quick thought on them. And then I'm gonna tell you like why I think overall this is an important book for you to read. Number one of the 12 reasons why life gets better with age, I have more life left than I thought. What percentage of your adult life is still ahead of you? If you're 54 and you're gonna live till 90, half of your adult life, if you start counting at age 18, is still ahead of you. We have very bad longevity literacy in this in this world. And the fact is we probably have more life than we think we do. And if we think the less life we think we have, the more likely we're gonna under save and then under experience. We're not gonna go out and try something new. Number two on the list, <clears throat> I've relieved, I'm relieved my body no longer defines me. Just as I got comfortable in my own skin, it started to sag. <laughs> um, your body's like a rental vehicle. It was issued to you at birth, and your job is to maintain it pretty well. Long-term maintenance is more important than short-term vanity. Yes, you could have some dings uh, and some scratches on your paint of uh, this rental vehicle, but don't get all wrapped up about that. Get more interested in how does it feel like on the inside that one does it look like on the outside, and make sure that that vehicle's gonna last a long time. Number three, I'm making friends with my emotions. As we grew, grow older, Real beauty moves from the face to the heart. Ah, Chip, that's so sweet. But yes, our emotional intelligence grows with age. Like, let's talk about it. Let's be honest that we become more emotionally moderate as well. Number four, I invest in my social wellness. Illness starts with the letter I. Wellness starts with the letters we. I'm not saying that you shouldn't care about your calories or your sleep or your exercise, but the number one variable for living a long, healthy, happy life is how much invested you are in your social relations, especially in midlife. Number five, I have no more fucks left to give. Excuse me, mom. Um, uh, Lao Z has a great quote, care about what other people think and you will always be, always be their prisoner. If there's a point at which in life you just say, I don't care anymore. I don't care what people think. I wanna focus on what matters to me. And that's what this one's all about. Number six in our list of the 12 reasons why life gets better with age is I'm marveling at my wisdom. Knowledge is in your iPhone. Wisdom is in your gut, just as your gut's starting to expand. Um, the fact is your, your life lessons, your painful life lessons are the, fut are the raw material for your future wisdom. It is in midlife we start to actually make sense of the pattern recognition we have and we learn from it. Number seven is I understand how my story serves me. No one knows your story better than you do. You are the screenwriter of this, this film of your life. Um, and by midlife, you understand your hero's journey a little bit more. You know, halfway through a novel, you understand it a lot better than you do a quarter of the way through it. So, you know, use that information to influence where you're gonna go next. Number eight, I've learned how to edit my life. The chip only becomes a journey after you've lost your baggage. At MEA, we call this the great midlife edit. What's no longer serving you? The first half of your life is about accumulating. Second half of your life is about editing. Number nine on the list, I'm joyously stepping off the treadmill. Um, midlife is when we outgrow our pursuit of happiness and start to practice joy. Um, so yeah, sometime around midlife, we say like, as David Brooks talked about in the second mountain, the first mountain is about success. The second mountain is about purpose. I don't even think the second mountain is a mountain. I think it's a valley, a beautiful river. And you start to realize that you don't have to be on, you know, on someone else's treadmill. Number 10 on the list is I'm starting to experience time affluence. If you get off that treadmill, you start to have time to become a beginner again. One of my favorite questions to ask is 10 years from now, what will you regret if you don't learn it or do it now? That's how I learned Spanish and surfing at age 57. Number 11 on the list is I've discovered my soul. Life is a horizontal one and then a vertical one. I'm sorry, life is a horizontal journey and then a vertical one. Um, you know, Richard Rohr and Carl Jung both said that the primary operating system for the first half of our life is our, is our ego. And then for the second half of our life, it's our soul. 
but nobody gave us operating instructions for how to actually uh, uh, drive this operating system of the soul for the second half of our life. And finally, number 12 on the list of the reasons why life gets better with age is I feel like I'm growing whole, and I have a quote from Annie Lamott on this. I'm here to be me, which is taking a great deal longer <laughs> than I, ex I had hoped. Look at that behind me. There's all these like characters. By the time you get to midlife, you don't have to be so segmented, so scattered. Midlife is about when you start to integrate all of the parts of yourself. You remember yourself, membering yourself all together like a jigsaw puzzle. And it sort of feels better when you're all integrated because you're not just growing old, you're also growing whole. Hope you enjoyed that little synopsis of the 12 reasons why life gets better with age that's in my book, Learning to Love Midlife, that comes out January 16th.